Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a router plane. Now this is a really helpful tool in the shop. I'm really pleased now that I have this one uh, and I'm going to go through the steps on how to make this. So stay tuned. Alright so I'm going to start off at the miter saw and I'm just going to clean up this one edge. Right, and now I'm going to resaw this piece at the table saw. I'm now cutting this into a 4 inch by 4 inch square. Alright, and for the handle, I'm using this piece of walnut, uh, and over here it's got a little knot in it, but that's okay, I'll just stick to this side over here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece out. And I'm just cutting this piece down a little bit smaller at the table saw. Alright, and now I'm just rounding this all over with an eighth inch round over bit. Alright, and now I'm just going to drill out a one and a quarter inch hole in this bottom piece here. And as you can see, I have both sides rounded over with that eighth inch round over bit. I'm going to be drilling the hole through the handle here, and this is to accept this Allen wrench which I have grinded down on the grinder uh, to make this knife that's going to uh, be the cutting edge of our router plane. And this uh, this size wrench just fits into this um, fits into this size hole uh, pretty nicely. It's still loose, uh, which you want it to be. Um, but it allows it to move up and down and it's not too loose. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is show you how to make the cutting edge. And this is made out of an Allen wrench and the first thing I'm going to do is heat up the Allen wrench using this small blowtorch you see here. Now I'm going to heat up the angle uh, where I'm going to bend it and then what I'm going to do next is put it into a vise and go ahead and bend it upwards. It doesn't have to be too much, just a little bit. Now I like to cool it off. This seems to help uh, with the grinding. Uh, you might want to let it sit for a couple minutes as well just to let it get a little bit cooler and then I'm going to start to grind it. Now I'm doing this in a few different steps. Uh, and so I've done this a few times. This isn't the one, this isn't the Allen wrench you actually see in the video. That's a different one. Uh, but what I'm going to do is to grind the bottom first. And it doesn't really matter all that much. I like to start with the bottom. And I'm just going to go ahead and start grinding the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and grind the sides and the top. So next what I'm going to do is switch over. Uh, I've already done the sides as you can see. But now I'm going to go over and do... Uh, the angle and the angles not too critical uh, just make sure that it's uh, a decent angle something that you something like a chisel that you may have in your workshop already uh, and just keep grinding away until it looks uh, how it should and uh, you'll be able to tell and then you might want to clean it up afterwards with some stones or 600 grit sandpaper all right and there we go that came out as a really good fit actually um, it's in there pretty snug. I might want to loosen this up a little bit, uh, but for right now it's good. And next we need to make a little uh, lock knob in the back here uh, so that this isn't moving up and down as we're going through the cut. Now it is snug, but it's not super snug, so we still do need that little locking handle. And you're pretty much going to need that no matter how well your uh, Allen wrench fits. Mine I could probably get away without using it, however it wouldn't be all that effective, so I'm going to go ahead and make that next. Alright, and for a locking mechanism, I just ground off the tip 
of this screw here. Well, I actually just sanded it off on the belt sander. And now what I can do is put this into here and use a screwdriver to lock this piece in place. So if I pull this out, I can adjust it to wherever I need it, set it, lock it down, and it's not going to be going anywhere. Right, and there it is, the completed router plane. Now this came out really good, and there's only really two things that I would change on a future one, and that's where this one comes in. Now, number one, I've got this much better Allen wrench with a, uh, this one is actually hardened, so the edge here is way sharper, and it will hold that sharp edge for much longer uh, than whatever this Allen wrench is that I use here. Now the second thing I would change is instead of using a screw in the back, I'd like to uh, turn a a little knob with a bolt in it in order to be able to tighten it and loosen it by hand instead of having to get a screwdriver uh, every time I need to adjust it. Other than those two things, I think this project came out really good. Sorry the video was a little pieced together. I did this in multiple different steps, making a few different of these Allen wrenches, uh, but it came together and I'm really pleased with the final result. So if you like this video, uh, please click the like button and also subscribe to my channel, Croy Woodworks. Thanks for watching.